So after climbing all those steps earlier, we were pretty hungry and I got to cook that steak that I bought from the co-op. Turned out to be an amazing dinner. I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I'm going. I think it's about time that I got the, um, the steak and got off for my birthday tea out. Some of you will probably think, why isn't Bernie cooking tea for me? And that's because he's not allowed in Buddy's kitchen. It's my kitchen. I'm just setting up my stall. Like I said, I've got the Ridge Monkey out. I've got the plates out. Just need to get the cutlery out. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a sharp knife. Hello, Blue. Blue's tired. Get the cutlery out, ready. And Bernie's having... You're having a burger, aren't you? Oh, um mint burger and i'm going to have a steak because it's my birthday and i like to have a steak and we're gonna have chips and i've even got a sachet of pepper sauce not quite sure i'm gonna warm that up yet but i'll work something out so i've just got the tin foil out because like bernie says i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'll cook the steak and the burger first in the ridge monkey can't even say that ridge monkey and then uh, i'll wrap it in foil and then we can put the chips in i've also got some frozen peas some sliced tomato and some peppercorn sauce to warm up which i'm not quite sure i'm going to do that yet bernie's got his phone on charge on top of the fridge because it's got a very handy little usb in the end and we're plugged into hook up so that's the quickest way to do it at the moment but i'm just going to have to move it a minute because i need to get my steak out have a look oh, oh chocolate right pepper sauce a pan for that um, stick now then where's bernie's burger i'll get the chips out chips is that bernie's burgers no that's a pork pie put that over there for a minute there's his burgers. Got a bottle of wine for later. Nice cheeky little uh, Blossom Hill. But I've actually got a packet, uh, a packet, a bottle of Merlot. So um, I think that we'll have that instead. Tomatoes. Oh, some peas. Some peas. And there they are. The Toms. I don't know what we do without these fridges. Blooming brilliant. Oh, so we've mm. finally got Blue to lie down and have a bit of a sleep. It's like a, an overtired toddler. So, uh, I found a pan for the peas. So I think I'll do the peas in that pan first. That's easier said than done. Peas in the pan. And then when they're hot, I'll probably put those in foil and put the peppercorn sauce in there. Do serve peppercorn sauce hot, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. And then these are the lamb and mint burgers that Bernie's going to have. And I have to say, they smell delicious. There we go. Low heat. And I'm going to put the lid down because I don't want them to spit everywhere. And the one thing I've learned, guys, is... Um, if you're cooking anything that's got a high fat content, like burgers or sausages, don't be tempted to flip the pan like you would normally, because what will happen is all the fat and the oil will come out the sides and you'll have a right unholy mess to sort out. Right, I think these um, lamb and mint burgers are probably ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't you start spitting everywhere. Not right. Don't you dare. No. I'm going to have to clean that pan as well because I don't want my spit tasting the mini burgers. Just close that down and it's spitting everywhere. I'm just going to double these over. Keep these warm so at least we can, we can both eat at the same time. I'll pop them on the side of the cooker. And now I'm going to have to clean this pan out carefully. 
I've not done this before, guys. It's hot. I'm just going to lay that in there and let it soak up the fat. As if it's any. I've got a bin under the table, guys. I'm not just throwing everything on the floor. Oh, yes, it is soaking up the fat. I need very One thing I'll say about these um, Ridge Monkey pans, the non-stick is brilliant. Can't fault it. So just to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the pan so that I cook my steak on the opposite side so that it's um, not going to pick up any flavour, hopefully. Flip it over. All I've got to do now is sort my steak out. This is the hardest bit for me, is getting the packet up. I make them old people resistant. Right, I'm just going to whack that in. I'll probably get the pan a bit hot again. Hopefully, it'll sizzle a bit when I put it. I'm doing it in a camp kitchen is a lot more difficult. Listen to that. Now I'm going to use a different one for turning it because that's had the raw meat on it. I'm just going to close it down for a bit, leave it for a few minutes. I like mine, I used to like it well done to a cinder, but I now actually prefer it medium to well done with a little bit of pink. So I'll just keep turning it every few minutes and uh, I'll join you again when it's cooked a bit more. I think it's still a little bit rare for me. It's still very squidgy. You just need to, oh yeah, definitely. It needs to be a little bit firmer in the middle for me. Not far yet. A few minutes later. Oh, that's firming up. Oh, I think that's nearly there. I might just turn that over once more, give it a couple more minutes, and then I think that is done too out and that looks yum so I'm just gonna let that rest while I cook the chips so I've got my sous chef on the job here to tell you I can't open these packets they're designed to keep me out not allowed to well I suppose it doesn't sound very really posh does it the uh, micro oh, chips it helps if you open the pan I've just cleaned it like I say these rich monkey pans are excellent because it came straight off all that all that beef stuff. Missed one. Yeah. Having a, a meal. Yeah. We seem to be having chips. <laughs> People are going to think we have chips with every meal. You know, this is my birthday meal. Now we, we've had stews before. We've had sweet mm. and sour. We had a sweet and sour where the vacuum pack burst. We ended up with sweet and sour soup, didn't we? <laughs> That's something else I've learned because I was using these vacuum bags and heating the food up in them. But you should not rely on the seal to hold the weight when you're getting it out of the pan. So I think what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to seal it three times just to be on the safe side. Thanks, Ben. Oh, have I missed one again? Yeah, that's always one gets away. I'm on a nice low heat so I don't cremate them. Bye bye chips. A few minutes, give them a shake. I'm going to turn the pan over this time and I think what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put my steak on the top to keep it hot. And Bernie's burgers, which are still very hot anyway, I'll just keep them warm. Peas are on. Chips are cooking nicely. Yeah. Literally cooking on gas. So there you go, folks. Steak. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Peppercorn sauce, which has curdled a little bit because it's been frozen, but I'm sure it'll taste lovely. Yum. Burgers burn. Minty. Minty, they smell very minty. Are they tasty though? Yeah, they're alright. Mm. Okay. Right, 
bugger off you lot because I'm going to enjoy my dinner now. So, how was your steak and your peppercorn sauce? It is gorgeous. Have I cooked it to perfection for you? <laughs> yes, you have. It's perfect. Not to self, though. We need to put some steak knives in. This is um, yeah. a little bit, a little bit tough to cook with this because it's got no edge on it, has it? No, but that's it's true. gorgeous. Lovely. Thank you. And you're thanking me for <laughs> happy birthday anyway. Thank for you. Monday, this is. Yeah. <laughs> having to celebrate early yeah but, um, there you busy go. week next week it is a busy week and obviously with the queen's funeral as well it's difficult but i'll always remember my birthday won't i you will mm. it's blues down again <laughs> well that was amazing and now i get to have a rest because um, bernie's gone to do the washing up i'm gonna need time to digest that steak was amazing bed made up tablet tuned to tv using the little wi-fi gadget i've got it was time for cake very much so there were some really quite young members of the royal family there the tyndall children the phillips children well it's a happy early birthday for tina we thought, seeing as we're away in the camper van, we thought we'd celebrate a little bit earlier. So, happy birthday, Tina. Thank you. 64. 64 today. No, she's not. 64 on Monday. And it's, will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. <laughs> I'm surprised I still had enough puff to blow out those candles. Well, Tina has kindly shared her cake with me. There's my piece. And there's Tina's piece. Well, it is your birthday. Looks like I might be sharing mine with Blue, I think, as well. <laughs> It's always sad, the last breakfast you have before going home. Just toast and marmalade and a bit of fresh juice this morning. Then we'll be on our way. Toasting the Ridge Monkey. Better check I'm not burning it. Because I'm good at that. I oh, know, it's just doing nicely. It didn't really feel like my birthday. It was a little odd. So after breakfast we set off home. And it was the weirdest journey. I was driving. And it was so quiet on the roads, with it being the Queen's funeral. Rest in peace, Your Majesty. You've more than earned it. If you've enjoyed coming along with us in our buddy Berlingo, then why not join us on our recent tour of the eastern coast of Scotland by clicking the link to your right.